let's say you want to spend ninety thousand dollars. That's right, ninety thousand dollars on something fast. At that point, you've got a lot of options. There's a lot of things that are really quick. How about a Jeep? You want to buy a ninety thousand dollar Jeep? It's not really a car. It's not a truck. It's the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. It's the Jeep with the nuclear explosion of an engine the Hellcat motor. This represents Dodge's ongoing quest to put the Hellcat motor in absolutely everything. I'm waiting for it in the Renegade, by the way. Interior-wise, this is a Grand Cherokee now with more Alcantara. That's really what's happened here. These seats I actually really like quite a bit. Otherwise, it's pretty much the top spec Grand Cherokee. It should be for 90 grand. They've got the metallic weave here on the dash that looks like it's probably actually an aluminum weave, but it still is a nice little accent piece. I love the new steering wheel. I love the new materials. I love the seats. Styling wise, they've had to revise it a lot. Why? Because this engine needs to breathe. You've got these weird reverse nostrils in the hood here. Everything's a little more bulbous and angry because of course, there's that big engine. I'm coming to this car thinking, all right, we've driven the Charger and Challenger with the Hellcat motor, and then, of course, FCA invented the YouTube car, which is the Demon. You know somebody had the brilliant idea, we've got this motor, let's see if we can stuff it into the Jeep. It's like driving somebody's fever dream. You know what we could do? Yeah, you're sick. Go back to bed, Johnson. Of course, the name of it is the Trackhawk. That's how you differentiate it. I kind of wish they used the Hellcat nomenclature because of this. Ugh. It's like a thousand pounds heavier than a Charger or a Challenger. And it's blindingly fast. It just crushes, it just bashes everything else. Come on, big girl. Let us dance. <laughs> uh, Daily Triple just went by a uh, lot higher. Yeah, okay, that was quick. That was, that was genuinely quick. Insane, disrespectful, anti-social levels of speed and anger. <laughs> I think I just passed a cop. This engine did the same thing in the Charger and the Challenger, but this car is more useful. And I submit to you, if you buy the Jeep, you'll use it more. This is sort of like a, you live in the mountains and you go skiing and you just want the ultimate Jeep and you maybe never use it for what it's intended for. They even put a launch control button with a Christmas tree in the center console and a menu full of quarter mile timers, eighth mile timers, G-force meters. All they're doing is encouraging hooliganism. Which means the drivetrain itself has got to be incredibly robust. That's all people are ever going to do is get in this and bash on it. Really? Do you imagine yourself just driving around in this kind of normally? It can, and it's smooth, and it's great, and it makes everything effortless, but you're going to look for passing lanes. You're going to look for excuses to pass everybody and not be sorry about it. It's relentless. That is the best word for it. This is an unstoppable force in search of an immovable object. This is so unnecessary. This is so stupid and irrelevant and ridiculously fun. And you know how smokers might have a pack a day habit? This has a tank a day habit. If you're not properly using a tank of gas a day in this car, you're not getting a return on your investment here. This has consumptive acceleration and enough power to pass everyone. Who are they? Everyone, all of them, I will pass them now. It's going to eat the world. <laughs> it's a $90,000 Jeep Cherokee. How do I get this across? $90,000 for a Jeep. It's too much. And that's why I love it. I, I need this car, so I've got to bring serious cash to the table if I do. And if I'm bringing that much money, no, I'm not going to get this. I'm going to go invest in some other sports car. This is a mutant. This, this should not exist. And yet here it is. 700 horsepower. I don't know what you cross shop this with. I don't think you cross shop this with anything. I think you buy this just because this is all you've ever wanted. I just, I want it. I want to make all my friends giggle. I want to make anybody I give a ride to just laugh hysterically and say, yeah, modern cars can do this. Modern giant SUVs 
can do this. Cruising along down this mountain road at incredibly fast sports car speeds is possible in this massive Jeep Grand Cherokee. And it is surprisingly stable and planted. Big old meaty tires on this. Thank God for the massive yellow Brembo brakes. And it corners pretty well too. We had the opportunity to drive this at Motor Press Guild Track Day when it first came out. FCA had a pro driver riding right seat, and I got in, I had to drive it, I'm on track, and the, the instructor says, okay, you know, I've got it all on track mode, all the settings, everything. And I can't say that I loved it on track. I, I don't wanna take this thing to the track, I do not. You don't get the sense that it's gonna slide or understeer or anything, it's just, it sticks, and it's a question of how bold you are to keep your foot in it. It's gonna keep going past your comfort level, I guarantee you that, in every category. I can't imagine actually tracking this. Everything about this is enormous and feels impossible to even exist. The more you push it really hard, you start to think, why is this a thing in reality? Am I in a parallel universe? By the way, the transmission is excellent in this car. It's built by ZF. Made in Germany, of course it is. If you put it in sport mode here, it only listens to these paddles, which are great. Ooh, that's kind of fun. I'm kind of amazed they were able to figure out a way to get this drivetrain to stand up to not only this power, but also all of the effort of the all-wheel drive and the fact that you know people are just gonna buy this and hoon it all the time. You've gotta put it under warranty. I am shocked that they figured out a way to do that. This thing feels like it will bend the earth before it will break. Why does this car exist? Because, and this car is useful. I bet you you could fill it full of five people, gear, ski rack if you want. It can tow a trailer. It says tow mode here, but they cover up the trailer hitch on the back if you notice. But this could be in the right situation, the car that I recommend to somebody on the podcast. I can't get over the 90 grand part of this. Honestly, I can't get over the fact that this car is that expensive. Now, you are getting a lot for your money. A loaded Jeep Grand Cherokee is gonna be at least $50,000 of this without the fun engine. Then you've gotta do all of the setup for this fun engine to work this well, and it does. But there's no alternative to this. It's not, well, I was between the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk and uh, I finished that sentence. It doesn't go with anything else. Uh, yeah, you could get a uh, Porsche Cayenne Turbo or Turbo S and get insane levels of acceleration like this. But you're gonna spend a lot more money and I don't think guys shopping a Cayenne Turbo are gonna look at this car. I don't think guys shopping a BMW X5M are gonna look at this car. You get the big boy, even the Alfa Romeo Stelvio, which is kind of a sister car to this. The fast version of that, you're not really gonna show. You're gonna want the big, aggressive American Jeep. And by the way, have I told you, it has launch control. This just exists and says I'm here and love me or hate me and I don't care. I don't care. I can't tell you how much I want it. I want what it represents. I like that it negates everything that Prius and hybrid drivers are trying to do everywhere. You're gonna drive through parking lots being loud and irreverent, and it's gonna pull the high schooler right out of you. And then of course, any car, I don't care if it's electric, I don't care if it's the fastest whatever supercar, you're gonna try. This may be the most unnecessary vehicle I have ever driven. Doesn't mean it's not fun. I'm just sitting here boggled that it exists at all. I think I'll pass him too. Clearly, people see you coming and they just get out of the way. They don't want anything to do with this. Wow. 